you guys, Beth Vitality here, and I wanted to show you my March Glam Bag as well as give my kind of final thoughts on Glam Bag because I'm canceling this month. Um, inside this, this month was... I got the, um, I imagine this is a full size. It's probably a size that would come in like a multi-pack. But this is the Three Lab Perfect Cleansing Foam. It's definitely not vegan though because it has beeswax in it that I immediately see. So I imagine there's some other animal products in there. I don't actually know anything about Three Lab as a company. So yeah, it's apparently an official beauty fix selection. Not that I know what that means. So yeah, um, I'll eventually try this. I don't know. Also in the bag was a little brush holder, which I don't particularly care for the brush holder. Um, it is made, you know how sometimes with um, the e.l.f. brush belt, everyone complains about the smell when you first get it? It's the cheap of, it's the smell of cheap synthetic leather. Um, I forget what this material actually is, some type of um, polyvinyl or something like that. But it smells really bad when you first get it, but with something like this, all you have to do is leave it to air out and it'll be fine. Is there a dog outside? Yeah, that's what that means. He gets that whiny when there's another dog out. Um, and then there is a My Glam brush in here. The brush also smells like new glue, but it doesn't smell like this does. Um, which a lot of people were like complaining hardcore on the website, like, oh, this smells awful, blah, blah, blah. I've bought cheap brushes, so it didn't really phase me. Um, the brush bristles actually appear to be two different fibers. But I don't really know what they are, and my glam didn't offer um, an explanation of what they were. And when somebody asked, everyone on the site made fun of them for being a vegan or a vegetarian or whatever. Yeah, they were vegetarian. Everyone's like, vegetarians don't care about animal products. Why do you care? I'm pretty sure telling a vegetarian whether or not they care about animal products is like telling a Christian they're not, like, Catholic. Like, I don't know. Or Catholic that they're not Christian whatever like it's like you can't tell someone what they are and aren't concerned about and what they believe in so yeah I'm assuming it's animal hair though because it looks like it um the bag is really cute this month I like the bag this is what the bag looks like um I like this a lot better than last month's bag I felt like last month's bag was just kind of cheap and feeling like it was meant to be the silky material but it's I don't know it just seemed cheap to me this one's really cute though um it's definitely very beachy so, maybe I should hold it up longer for you guys to see. Beachy. Um, it is lined on the inside, so that kind of surprises me. It has like a plastic liner, and you can see that it's shiny. Um, that really, really surprises me, to be honest. So that's, again, the bag is pretty awesome this month. Um, this is probably the first month that I've actually really liked the bag. And then here is why I'm canceling. Um, this is the rest of the bag. There's information here. Um, this is a Derm Store coupon. You get $25 off of a $50 purchase is what I believe it is. Oh no, this one just says you get... There's free shipping on all orders all the time and it's telling you that you get 20% off of the products that could have been in your glam bag. So, you know, if you get hooked, you can get them for 20% off. Um, and then... I thought there was a coupon in here. Maybe that is the coupon. I don't freaking know. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, then there's information here about Caracolor, which is in here as well. And then, yeah, this is stupid. Uh, this is why what's in your bag is in your bag. I don't... It's cute that you thought that it was awesome, but here are their explanations for things. Mind you, this is a bag that I expected to have a lot of makeup based off of the fact that the very first bag was, like, all makeup. And now it has drifted to being entirely full of skincare. And I don't know why. I think it's stupid. People repetitively complain about it, and yet they still just keep putting out bags of skincare. And, you know, most people don't want to try new skincare because if you have any sort of acne prone or sensitive or oily or dry skin, you don't want to try things because it causes you to break out. You know, if you have normal skin, this kind of stuff is right up your alley because you can put stuff on and worst case scenario you might get like as it the rest of us like it could be catastrophic <laughs> if you try something new so this does not interest me and that's why I'm canceling because I'm I don't want a glam bag full of skincare it doesn't do me any good so where is this cool because at least I have enough to try here to figure out if I break out if this is what caused it um 
I still don't know if I'm even going to use this. I'm going to look up some reviews and see how it reacts with my skin type. Because it doesn't really say what skin type it's for. So here are, here's what's, oh, here's the gift card from Derm Store. Uh, make sure my code, yeah, my code's on the inside. So there is the $25 gift card. Um, I think it's really, really misleading to call it a gift card when in actuality it's a coupon. Um, they did this last month with Numi as well. This is not a freaking gift card. It is a coupon. That irritates me so much. Don't tell people you're giving them a gift card. It does. It's not the same. Um, this is from Murad. This is the Eye Lift Perfector. You can get these for free. This is a Pearlice. This is an SPF 30 Essential Daily Moisturizer for normal to dry skin. It's sense for sensitive and anti-aging. I have combination oily skin. So, I won't be trying this. John said he wants to try it. I don't know why, because he has super oily skin. So, it doesn't say... It says it has... John's playing Skyrim. It says it has UVA, UVB, sun protection. Um, but it doesn't give a rating. So, yeah. Oh, dog is scared of the game. <laughs> and then the last thing in here is the Cara Color uh, Natural for All Hair Types Color Enhancing Leave-In Treatment. Um, from what I understand, these are for various colors. So I'm not sure how this works. I'm going to have to read more about this. Whereas I'm excited to have another fluffy blending brush because you can always use one. I just, I'm just not impressed. So I'm going to cancel. Not to mention it took like 13 days to get to me from California. 13. I have done the cheapest shipping to California before and it was like a dollar and it still got there within six days. So my game really needs to work on simplifying the shipping process and stop trying to please everybody. Just ship it out. Just normal ship. Just stopped getting complicated with it because mine sat between USPS and UPS for a week. I mean it literally sat there for a week and it sat at my glam for like four days so I'm just like you guys what are you doing like I don't know it's just stupid. Um, not to mention there are still people I know who have still not received glam bags and are still getting charged um, they're not getting refunds they're not getting bags there are just too many issues. There are some shady things that happen with the coupon versus gift card terminology, with win, with X out last month. Um, I just, I don't trust them as a company, and because I don't trust them, I no longer want to give them my money. So, I'm just really disappointed with how they turned out. Um, I don't want another skincare sample box. If I wanted that, you, literally you can go to a Sephora or an Ulta or anywhere that has like samples and be like okay I want to try that I want to try that I want to try that and just get samples and there's your bag literally the only part that I like this month is indeed the brush I don't like the case the case feels really flimsy it's magnetized so that's kind of nice but it feels really flimsy like this feels like it's gonna break pretty quickly on this fold line um the brush I don't know I haven't tried it yet so hopefully it's nice um I'm afraid it would be scratchy because it's natural hair I'm bummed out that it's natural hair so, and I also didn't appreciate the riddling, the ridicule towards another, ve like, a vegetarian on the site. That just wasn't cool. I don't know. But, yeah, I like the bag. The bag was cute this month. This was a nice size. It was a really good size for a sample product. But, again, I don't want skincare. If I wanted skincare, I would get skincare. I don't like getting unsolicited skincare. I mean, this isn't things for me. I don't know. Whatever. This is a really long video of me basically saying I'm done with my glam and to anyone who's gotten screwed over my my glam, I'm sorry. That sucks so bad. I thought I was going to be one of you this month um, since my bag took 13 days to get to me. I assumed it was gone because um, once it sat in between the UPS and the USPS for seven days, I really just assumed it was done. I was like, well, that's gone. All right, you guys. That is how I feel about good old my glam. I will be canceling. Bye.